Hello everyone and welcome to my video for the Hopalong uh, Red Riding Hood um, Live Art Journaling and Self Development YouTube Hop. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and all of the videos in the hop and the, vi the link to the next video will be in the description below so if you just scroll down you'll be able to find the next YouTube video. Um, what I'm going to do today is like a little collage in my art journal, but first we are starting out with some um, papers, some book pages, and I used clear gesso on two of the book pages and then regular gesso on the third. So the first thing I'm doing here is making some watercolor uh, flowers. That little stick I used is a water soluble graphite stick. Um, many different companies make them, but this particular one is from Prima Marketing. Um, so what I'm doing here is I, my theme, what I wanted to do, and I, I feel like it's probably the default thing to do, is because it's Red Riding Hood, to make the focal point be her red cape. So I really wanted everything else to be black and white and, you know, this whatever color the book pages are, I guess like kind of a yellow, but still like a neutral color. So I am making my watercolor florals in black and white. Um, and I find making these florals on book pages really relaxing. I think it's not really something that people obviously do very often because you think of watercolors they have to be done on watercolor paper but that's just not the case I mean you can use anything basically anywhere and as long as you you know do the right steps like I did the uh, gesso first but I have watercolored on um, vintage ledger papers that have not been gessoed and it worked surprisingly well so I always say kind of try the things that you want to try and don't worry about if it's the thing that you're supposed to do or not. So now I'm going to take my General's Peel and Sketch uh, charcoal pencil and I would like to sketch out a little Red Riding Hood figure. Um, I want her to be facing away so I don't want to do her face. Um, so I'm trying to do her cape and her hood and I kind of go back and forth with this a little bit. So. First I feel like I made it too wide and then I feel like eventually I feel like I made it too short, which I did. And um, 
So I'm, I'll be adding legs here in a second, but don't worry, those legs will soon disappear. Um, well, the next legs that I add will soon disappear. And I wanted a little hair kind of coming out because I think that makes it a little more realistic. See, there are those legs again. Ugh. And I wanted it to be, the cape to be more kind of organic feeling. So I eventually changed it to be a little more flowy. I'm not entirely sure that that part shows up on the video. I may have stopped the video and gone, oh, what am I doing? And then tried to fix it and ended up being happy with it. Um, but anyway, here I am using a soft pastel. Um, I think it's a master's touch pastel actually in like a terracotta color, but it's not, I'm not a big fan of red. Um, bright red is not really my jam. So this kind of orangey terracotta color was a lot um, better for me personally. And then I'm gonna take my water um, and just kind of paint with the pastel rather than rub it in all together because I like the more watercolor effect that it could have, that it gives. And I could have used watercolors, of course, but I didn't. And here we are. <laughs> So now it's time to start the collage part. Um, you can see I have broken out my handy dandy mini sewing machine that, uh, don't tell it, but is about to be replaced by my handy dandy new mini sewing machine. Um, so, but anyway, <laughs> I broke out as much, uh, black and white collage elements that I could find in my drawer. So I have this tracing paper that has a bunch of eights stamped on it, but I did it sideways so it looked more like the infinity uh, symbol. And I put that over a little bit of like cardboard, but it's not really thick cardboard. Maybe it's like a little chipboard, but it's really thin. Um, and then I sewed that together. And then I am taking some of my watercolor florals and trying to um, go back and forth and see what kind of configuration that I like. Um, I have this craft paper that I stamped on and I decided to leave all of this in here where I kind of go back and forth with everything just so you could see the process kind of because it doesn't all just whip together right away. There's definitely a back and forth process that goes on uh, when trying to figure out where pieces should go in a collage. Um, here you can see my red riding hood. Um, you can see where I added a little bit more to the bottom of her cape and made it a little more flowy and then added just little bits of the legs. Um, so you can almost see where her cape ended before, but if you didn't know that, it would almost look like it was flowing a little bit uh, or it was just like a shadow or something which I thought was kind of cool. Um, so I finally landed on this being good for my collage. Um, I wanted the flowers at the bottom and then her on top of my sewn piece. And then this piece of, it's like hamburger patty paper. It's kind of like deli paper, but it's a, li a little less waxy um, that I have some black tick marks on. Um, I wanted that in the background. So I'm using my Yes Paste, which is kind of like a glue stick in a jar. Um, it's kind of, it's not, it's not obvious, it's obviously not dry, but it's not runny like matte medium is. Um, so it helps, it sticks it better. Um, and now I'm gonna add my Red Riding Hood 
and this is where things start to get sticky you know you get glue on your fingers and now you're sticking to everything um, and then I'm I'm adding it to the um, burlap page in the black Tina Weekly Media Journal so at some point that glue is gonna kind of go through I think right there go through the burlap a little bit um, so you probably want to put something under that to make it um, a little better so your pages don't stick together because that can be annoying when you think oh you've done this cool thing and then now everything's stuck together um, so I have this quote that I found and printed out on top of a printable that I got from Sean Petit. She has um, like printable uh, ephemera packs. So I just printed the quote on top of the printable to use. And then I saw off in the corner these little tags that I have. And I decided that that kind of went with my motif. And so I grabbed um, this Umwow washi tape. Um, it's Umwow Studios uh, run by Dee Dee Katrin. Um, she makes some awesome grungy stuff and I love this washi tape. So I decided to add it to my tag because it goes with the black and white theme. And it kind of adds more, you know, I feel like the florals at the bottom and then these little botanical things um, on the washi tape add to the idea that Red Riding Hood is kind of walking in a field or a forest somewhere. Um, so I'm going to add that into my collage and then I also have this, um, it's called, it's, it's like a paper tape, but it's not tape because it's not sticky. So it's just paper, um, but it has these numbers on it, which I am in love with numbers. So I decided to add that as well. And then I will be stapling the whole thing into the journal. And then I think I end up gluing parts of it down too because the staples just weren't, weren't cutting it, at least for what I wanted. Alright, so I have glued down my quote and I keep fiddling with it and there I kind of messed it up and I cut that part out. Uh, but I got it put back together. And then I decided I hadn't used enough of my uh, floral, paper, floral paper that I made. So I decided to add a little bit of it in the top corner of the collage there. And then um, I am going to add some white splatters with my Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray. And now I'm taking my charcoal pencil and outlining the quote. Um, the quote is, fear makes the wolf bigger than he is. And this was something that I thought was really powerful, um, but it was kind of hidden on top of that tag. So I decided to take the charcoal and outline it a little bit to make it more 
noticeable. And then I'm taking my water to um, activate the charcoal a little. And then I decided it wasn't dark enough and so I grabbed my Stabilo and kind of did the same thing. And then I think I take my water again, yeah, and activate it a little bit more just to make it a little darker. But that is it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the process and I hope it inspires you to create something. So thank you for watching and have fun on the hop.